Hey guys, my name is Franklin Lorenzo and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about working with horses and the things that you should do to make it go as smooth as possible. The first thing you want to do is reach out to a place where you can rent a horse, discuss for how long you'll use the horse, that way they can better quote you. Second, you want to ask is where can you shoot with the horse? In this particular case, we were assigned a particular area that we couldn't get out of. It was wide, it was big, we could walk around, but it was not what I had in mind, but you know, part of being a photographer is being flexible with what's given to you. But aside from that, one of the most important things to keep in mind with working with animals in general, regardless of which animal it may be, is that they are exactly that, animals. And they are not going to behave 100% of the time the way you want them to. They will move around, they will not hold poses, they will look elsewhere, and you just have to be flexible and perhaps communicate this with your lighting assistant. And if you're not using lighting, then that's something that you can communicate with the handler of the animal. That way you can have a plan as to how you're going to move with the photo shoot. In this particular case, this client has worked with me for many years, so she's used to the way I work, which is incorporating micro movements into the poses. If you're not familiar with that, I made a video about micro poses and you can look it up in my YouTube channel. One important element is having a handler. The reason for that is that they know the animal way more than we do. So they can read body language and behavior and that could give us a hint whether it is safe or unsafe to continue doing the photo shoot. For example, many years back I did a photo shoot with a horse and the horse was not used to strobes, which I was using, and the handler was giving me cues when to stop or give the horse a break so nothing negative would happen. For this photo shoot, I chose to work with the Canon 5D Mark IV along with the 85mm f1.4 IS and on top of it, I use a three-stop neutral density filter. One of the reasons I used the neutral density filter was to be able to drop my aperture to at least f4. That way I can get the client and the horse in focus and everything behind them will go into auto focus. And at the same time, because it was partly cloudy, where the sun kept coming in and out, I didn't want to push my flash to be bursting a lot of energy in one shot. Again, that could have scared the horse, and two, it was gonna drain the battery a lot faster. So by applying the neutral density filter and lowering the aperture to F4, the flash did not have to work as hard as it would have if I didn't have the neutral density filter. Another important thing to think about is that there's always that warm-up period where the model has to warm up to the animal. No matter how much they like the animal, at the end of the day, you don't know how that animal is going to behave. So there is always a warm up period, which uh, happens usually 10 to 20 minutes into the photo shoot. And that's when the person posing with the animal starts to become more comfortable, which makes the photo shoot go even better. But be ready in the event that that does not happen. So what you want to do is be flexible. Perhaps your vision as a creator was to have the person on top of the horse the entire time, but maybe that person tries it, doesn't like it, and the next thing you want to do is just maybe have them handle the horse and walk with the horse uh, as an alternative. Thankfully, the client was not afraid, so we tried everything. We tried with her on top of the horse, and we also tried some dancerly poses where she was handling the horse. In the behind the scenes, you're going to see me using a strobe, which was most likely a pro photo. I'm just not sure if it was a B1 or a B10. In either case, I did have multiple light modifiers to try out different looks. And then a lot of the times I was only using natural light. So to sum it up, what are the things that I find most important when working with a horse or any other kind of wild animal? One, know the animal's personality. Two, always have a handler. And three, be flexible. So as always, if you like this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell notification. And if you tune in to next week's video, I'm going to talk about photographing a Swiss 16 and all the tips that go with that. Until next time, take care.